The next morning there came a parting of the ways. Many people, such as Stoney and Roadrunner, simply had to return home. Among the Sentinel group there was felt to be a lack of coordination and cooperation with the active patrol group, the ones who declined to be videoed or interviewed. It was felt that the reduction of Sentinel personnel and the lack of coordination made it unsafe to remain at Freeman FOV. The Sentinels suspended operations. The others, being left alone, soon departed. Freeman FOB was abandoned. As I departed the FOB, I noticed there was new wording on the warning sign. The new sign read, Active Federal Law Enforcement Patrol Area. Clean up and restoration crews at work. Contact BLM Rangers for current status. Compare the old text on the left with the new message on the right. Uh, there were some signs uh, entering, uh, I, I saw several of them, entering uh, BLM lands that, that listed illegal activity, that people should look out for immigration, illegal immigration, smuggling, high-speed vehicles. Right. About a week before the election, those were changed to simply be, this is an active federal law enforcement area. Correct. Uh, do you have some thoughts on why that was changed? Well, the, the signs that you mentioned at first uh, were uh, put up, temporary signs were put up in June. Uh, they were re the result of, of activities in the Sonoran Desert National Monument that were uh, indicated a, a, an increase in the heightened amount of, of activity. We had the shooting of the sheriff's deputy of Pinal County. We had two bodies found um, in the same general area. Um, it just seemed like increased tensions, heightened, heightened activity. Those signs were put up, but it was a warning at that time. Since then, we have embarked on a, a different strategy. We feel that the situation has changed that it is not perfect, the, the problems have not been solved, but the degree of tension and the need for heightened awareness is down. So that's why those signs were changed. We, uh, we continue to have signs that uh, all the federal agencies all uh, with uh, affected by border activities have that, that warn of, uh, of the area being a potential smuggling area. The law enforcement part was certainly correct. With no known sentinel or militia activity in the area to cover, I didn't want to camp alone. So I took a few days rest and relaxation in the Superstition Mountains. <laughs> 